Speaking of disappointing, let's talk about the tight end position. Okay, I shouldn't go that far. But it is a tough position. Who are we trusting this week? It's so hard to trust anybody, right? Not named Kelsey or Andrews at this point. I'm going to trust Pat Fryermuth. I know he didn't have a great game last week. I get that. 6.1 fantasy points. But he had scored at least 7.2 fantasy points in his previous nine games dating back to his rookie year. And this isn't even a good matchup, John. I mean, the, the Jets actually held Mark Andrews uh, to a low total. He's the only tight end to score double digits against them this year. But I think Mitchell Trubisky will look to fry him with a little bit more often than he did last week. And because this is such a thin position, I continue to start Pat Fryermuth. And I'm going to start Gerald Everett, too. Last week was not a good week. It wasn't a good week for a lot of the Chargers players. But now they have the Texans. This is a really good matchup. The Chargers should be dominating this game with or without Keenan Allen. I think Gerald Everett is a borderline tight end one. And what should be a team that scores maybe 30 points against Houston's poorest defense? And as far as who we're sitting at the tight end position, who doesn't make the cut this week? Yeah, Irv Smith Jr. I liked him last week, and he let us down, unfortunately. Now he's going to be in London against the Saints. And the Saints defense has been very tough on the tight ends. In fact, they haven't given up a touchdown to a tight end in eight straight games dating back to last year. And I get it. Irv Smith was a guy you picked up. Maybe you have to play him. The matchup's not great. And how about Hunter Henry? I mean, this guy's done an absolute Houdini act. He was a top 10 tight end last year. This season, in the first three games, five targets, six fewer than Jonu Smith, his teammate, and he ranks tied for 17th among tight ends in routes run per PFF. That's not very good. Uh, now, the Packers are not great against tight ends, but Hunter Henry is simply not seeing any volume at all, and I can't play him, especially when Brian Hoyer is the quarterback for New England.